Geeky Will the Black Label Society. Yeah, we're at the uh, the Black Label Bunker right now. It's where all the magic goes down. Let's go, kids. Let's check it out. All right, so uh, all right, here we are. We got Father Adam over here, engineer extraordinaire. But uh, I will just give you a little tour of the whole place here. We got uh, obviously this is the control room. This is uh, this is where it goes down. This is Brown Hero right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to explain some of that stuff over there to you. Got the core over here with all the springs and whatever other crazy shit we're going to put on over there. Over here, we got the piano room. We got fiddles around and about. Got some other amps we need to go cut over here, some of the road stuff. We got uh, the Jackson, the Mike, and the guys over. Oh, Jackson gave me this one over here. He's going to bomb sign the back of that one. Is it going to go forward? Yeah. There we go. And dime bag jam on this one as well. Mm -hmm. Studio. Let it complete the sign of the again. But, uh, um, alright. Well, yeah, we've got another Randy Road going over here. Check this one out. Just pick this one up. Number 63. They made 100 of these suckers. But, uh, here's the aluminum Roswell. Kill guitar actually sounds good. Plays great. Full fiddle. And you got uh, this is a special one too. Father West signed this one for me, Leslie. The one and the only. So, uh, love you, Pops. And uh, Leslie over there. These are all JD's bases. It's going out over there. The nylon strings. The big guy. And you got some more fiddles going on in here. Right here, this is the, uh, this right here is a 57 Junior. This is one Oz got me for my birthday, for my, my 26th birthday or something like that. Use this on a couple records. This one here, uh, some old special ones we got. I got this one when we were doing uh, Osmosis. This one's a cool one too. A 65 SG, really, really nice, sounds great. Use that on, on some recordings as well. Use that one on a bass one as well. But, uh, yeah, so we got a whole bunch of those GDs over here. We got, uh, this is, um, I bought this thing, a couple, uh, this unit right here, this package deal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> saved up. It cost me two tours right there, but I ended up saving enough money and I ended up buying them. It's, uh, it's called the Moby unit. And it, uh, it takes care of everything for you. It's really, uh, really handy. But, um, yeah, we got some more fills over here. We got the GMW, Rando, we got a picture of all the cool guys in here. Ed, Randy, you know, all the guys up here. As you can see, we got Steve Morris, Jimmy, all the guys in there. Father Keith over there. Jimmy, man. Let's see what we got in here. Well, this is the office right here. This is where, uh, You know, well, I never really do anything. Like, you know, you just hang out. But this is uh, right over here. Is where this this I put together. This is a special room of mine. As you can see, well, we're painting it red, so the whole thing is. I had this. I had started with this one picture I had on eBay. I bought of uh, Linda Blair, a slamming movie. I seen it the first time. I seen it on TV. Just. Without all the crazy stuff, beyond scared the hell out of me. So it's still a killer movie, mind you. I showed it to my uh, my nieces and stuff. They they thought it was the uh, they were just like Uncle Zach. This is not scary, and you're lame. So we're leaving. But uh, still, I think it's amazing. But anyways, yeah, this is uh. Let me take a look at the rest of it. I'm gonna put some more holy water in there. JD comes in here. He has to bless himself twice. He blesses himself on the way in and blesses himself on the way out. As you can see, we got the big guy up there on the way in and you got the big guy over here then we got the big guy up here over the uh, on the inside and you got Pazuzu the up there and you got everything like that but the whole thing is uh what we said here is rumblings going on here so there's a brawl in here every night between Pazuzu and the big guy so <laughs> the Pazuzu loop and once again I can't stress how much 
this Moby unit means to the uh, the whole the whole package deal. Would you hurry up so I can watch my ESPN? <laughs> it's a very expensive unit. <laughs> You'll have to save up for that one. <laughs> here we go. Uh, in there you got the drum room over in here. So we don't have anything, obviously, the mics are down, but this is where Will was scrolling down on this little guy over here. But, uh, yeah, this is it. So this is all you really need. Okay, let's check out the air pump. Well, these are, you know, I'm a Marshall guy, so you got all the Marshalls I got over here. You know, JCM 800 is pretty much where I got the jam piece over here. This is a Plexi over here. That's an old one straight up, but uh, actually a George Metropolis Plexi. And these, uh, these are the heads I pretty much used on this album all together, but uh, my signature head, and then there's red, uh, this 2203, uh, obviously early 82 or something like that, early 80s, 800. We got the amp room over here. So uh, this stamp right here, this is number 40, I think it's number 26 out of, uh, Father Marshall gave me this one. There's number 26 out of 40. So, uh, yeah, that's, forget about it. That's, don't get any better than that. So, the old Jaguar there. Then you got all my blues breaker, I saved up for this sucker. Uh, and obviously, I mean, everything in here is what we use, so. Uh, my buddy Dennis got me this orange. So I just got different amps for different things, but mostly, I mean, it's it's all coming out of this guy right here. The Marshall with 200 watt EVs. This is where we mic this sucker. Adam, what kind of mics are this? Uh, for the kids at home, I'm saying, so we're in the studio, they're not dicking around forever trying to get a guitar tone. Uh, we got the the uh, SM57, sure. This is a Sennheiser 421 and the Royer 121 ribbon. Uh, use the three uh, all together uh, on one speaker and just kind of make a good blend all together. And so that's how it's done, kids. Wild, and it's just two guitars. So, you know, one one track and then you just double another one and that's when the magic happens. Because everything gets wide and it just gets super full. And just try it at home, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But, uh, but now you know how to mic it. Let's, uh, let's just show them some of this stuff. I'll show you some of the outboard gear we got over here. Adam can explain to you the stuff that we use on the record. Yeah, we got. So when you guys are in the studio, you'll know what the hell to do. What do you got over here? Well, we got this split up in different sections here. These are basically all our preamps to just power the microphones. All these guys are some good compression, and then the third row is just uh, some outboard effects with uh, Pro Tools sticking right there on the bottom. Last row is the patch bay. So. Uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, everything else is in the box, 100% digital and Pro Tools. And it's a good thing I know how to work all this stuff. Otherwise, I'd be out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll just leave it at that. Okay, we'll tell you here. Now we'll bring you into the kitchen. So this is where we have all the, uh, the black label kitchenware accessories, apparently, as you can see. Kitchen lounge accessories, and we also have uh, Linda Blair over here. She's uh, we all know her, you know. So <laughs> she went. Let's see what we got here. Oh, she's ready to go. <laughs> let's, let's see what we get, kids. You practice enough, you, you can get yourself one of these too. <laughs> Excuse me, Raymond. What do you think about the uh, what do you think about the new uh, black label album, Order of Black? Is it is it pretty good? It's not. Um, you prefer this album? I get never mind. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but uh. No, then you got this room out here in the back. Oh, here you go. There's some other cool pictures. And Jimmy, I've got the boss over here. I got a leap over here. Look at the air the boss is catching. He can still do that. He's still in shape. That's what all that work out does. What are you doing in here? And then you got all this stuff. This is a, 
This is where Scotty from Star Trek hangs out in the back room over here. This is uh, engineering. And that's about it, man. So, uh, you've seen the studio. Now, seriously, leave. <laughs>